In this video, we will see how to create an order for auction product. When the auction expires, winner has to check out the auction product and place an order. The order can be created manually or automatically. First of all, let's see how to create an order manually. Open the auction product on the front end with user1 login. You can see in the bid history table, many bidders have placed a bid on this auction product. Now let's place a bid with user1 login. Bid placed successfully. You can see that user1 is the highest bidder of this auction product. Now let's expire this auction product. Go to the admin dashboard of your site. Then options. Here click end now button. It will expire the auction product. You can see that the auction product is expired and user1 becomes the winner. How to check out the auction product? Winner can check out the auction product via three ways. First is from the winning email. The payment link is added in the winning email. Winner has to click on the payment link and check out the auction product. Second is from the product page. When the auction expires, the pay now button displayed to winner. Winner has to click on the pay now button and check out the auction product. Third is from the my account page. Go to the my account page, auctions and then bids one tab. From here winner can check out the auction product. Let's see how to check out the auction product via my account page. Go to the auctions and bids one tab. You can see the pay now button. Winner has to click on it and check out the auction product. When click on the pay now button, it will open the checkout page of the WooCommerce plugin. Winner has to add all the required information on this page and place an order. You can see that order placed successfully. You can see the order details on this page. First is the order number. Second is the order date. Third is the winner email. Fourth is the total paid amount and next is the payment method. At the last you can see the billing address which user have added on the checkout page. Now let's see this order in the order menu of the WooCommerce plugin. Login to the admin dashboard of your site. Then go to the WooCommerce and then orders. You can see the order is created for user1 and the order status is in progress. Now let's see how to create an order automatically. First of all, admin needs to enable the auto order option from the auction settings. Go to the auction settings and then extra settings. There is a setting for auto create order after auction expires. Here is the option for do you want to automatically generate an order for an auction product. Let's enable this option. When this option is enabled, the another option displayed for do you want user to fill the shipping address before they place their bids. When the auto order is enabled, the order will be created for the winner after auction expires. If admin wants to take a shipping address of the bidders before placing a bid, they can do it via this option. If yes option is selected, it is compulsory to add the shipping address on the my account page. If bidder tries to place a bid without adding the shipping address, the notice displayed to bidder at the top of the page for adding shipping address. If no option is selected, then bidder does not need to add the shipping address. The reason behind providing this option is that admin gets an idea of address of the winner. If admin wants to take the extra charges from the winner via offline dealing or another method, admin can take it based on the shipping address. Now let's see how it will work on the front end. Open the auction product with user1 login and place a bid. You can see that the error message displayed to user1. It says that you cannot place a bid on the auction. Please add the billing details. Now let's add the billing address. Go to the my account page and then addresses. Here user need to add the shipping address. Add the shipping address here and click save address. Now you can see that billing address and shipping address both are added. 
Now let's try to place a bead again. You can see that bead placed successfully. You can see all the bidders in the bead history table. User 1 is the highest bidder of this auction product. Now let's expire this auction product. You can see that auction product is expired and user 1 becomes the winner. So the order is created automatically for user 1. Let's check it in the order menu. Go to the WooCommerce and then orders. You can see that the order is created 4 minutes ago. Let's click on it. First you can see the date of the order creation. Next is the order status which is pending. Next is the username to which this order is assigned. Next is the billing address and shipping address that bidder has filled up before placing a bid. Next is the item name and winning bid value which the winner has to pay. In the auto order functionality, the shipping charge is not calculated automatically. Currently the order status is pending. Now winner has to pay for this auction product. Go to the my account page and then auctions. and then bids one tab. From here winner can check out the auction product. By clicking the pay now button, winner can pay for the auction product. When click on the pay now button, it will open the page for pay for order. In the auto order functionality, the default checkout page of the WooCommerce plugin will not open during the payment. It is a custom page of the Ultimate Auction Pro plugin. In this page, the other field does not display like address, name and contact information because the order is already created with this information. Now winner needs to pay only for this auction product. You can see only payment option is available on this page. Let's pay for it. The payment is successful for this auction product. Now let's check the order status. After payment of the auction product, the order status is changed from pending to in progress. So in this way the auto order functionality works.